make some noise for your host, Mighty Joe W. From Canada to South America, to the UK all the way to Asia, we're worldwide whooping life's head one day at a time. Wherever you are, good morning or good night. Now let's get your day started or ended just right. I have some really good topics for you. Um, good piece of information that I want to talk about today. I am Mighty Joe W. And I'm happy to be bringing you another episode of the Mighty Joe Show. Um, please excuse me if I'm sneezing or sniffing. Down here in Texas, we're getting weather that keeps going from the 70s, almost 80s, down to the 30s to the 40s now we're back in the 60s so i don't know what's going on but everybody's sinuses are all out of control so what i want to focus on today is breaking into the video game industry i'm going to talk about video game composing but i have a piece of information that you can apply to anything that you're trying to do something that may be standing in your way that you may not be aware of but first a word from my sponsors myself gamesandkeys.com if you enjoy video game music and if you want to play it head over to gamesandkeys.com and download your midi files and your sheet music for those songs so you can play them you can enjoy them become one with them because since the beginning of gaming music has been important and it still is today so head over to gamesandkeys.com i did that off the top of my head i didn't write that down and i'm proud of that spot Eventually, I should have some sponsors, and I should have some guests to interview, so this could be more like a real show. Anyway, on to our topic. Whether you're riding home from work, you're on the bus, you're listening to me in the background while you're doing homework or you're working out, I thank you for dropping in, and there's a comment section below just for you, so if you have any thoughts or want to add anything to the conversation or any questions, Definitely use the comment section below because I want you to be a part of this too. So first, I want to give a brief update. If you are listening to this, chances are you enjoy what I do. So I want to um, update you. As you can see, I've been more active on YouTube. Uh, I've had a little more time and I, well, I've dedicated more time. And I actually put a new video game piano tutorial last week, which was for the game Life is Strange, which... I've been hearing mixed reviews about, but from what I've heard, it seems to focus on some character development and plot, so I'm interested in it, and I'll be listening to the rest of the soundtrack to see if I want to do any other songs. So just a brief history on the piano tutorials, you know, that's where the, the channel started, and after undergoing multiple um, operating system up updates, some programs are not compatible or some programs don't run as well when you upgrade your operating system. So needless to say, I was at a point where a lot of my programs were not functioning and I was trying to figure out how to go back to one of the older operating systems and it, it looked like a big headache. So long story short, instead of using Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro, now I'm back to using GarageBand and iMovie at the time and for what I'm doing they both work really really well so I'm actually really happy with it so that's what I'm doing so I've got that taken care of I've got a good program to do the screen capture so it's not all jittery and everything so so now it's just on me it's just on me making the time to continue to learn songs and do piano tutorials instrumentals I've been doing still putting samples out there just to so it's things that people are familiar with, you know, such as famous video game songs, uh, famous classical songs, jazz songs. And then I'll, I'll be rolling out original music over time that you can listen to, you can enjoy. And then if there's anybody out there that does want to buy or lease, you know, that'll be coming down the line. And then um, the gameplay. I haven't done any gameplay videos lately. Um, I will get back to that eventually but that's kind of on the back burner right now as i'm focusing more on the music side of things so that's just a little brief update now i want to talk about something that i've come to realize a limited belief that i've had that i wasn't quite aware of and one of the things that i'd always been interested in 
like I said, video games and music just go hand in hand. I couldn't imagine gaming without the musical experience because some of my absolute favorite soundtracks and songs are from video games. You know, all the way back to Super Mario, probably one of the most recognizable songs ever. Uh, and just all the way through current games, you know, The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls, um, games that were always great with their music soundtracks like Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, pretty much anything on Nintendo, now that I think about it, they always have a lot of great arrangements. And that's always been very intriguing to me, um, video game music composing and video game sound. When I watched the video for the making of the music and sound for The Last of Us, I was just really intrigued because they did a lot of field work and they did a lot of creative work to come up with very specific, original, unique sounds to feel throughout the game and just were very intentional with all of the sounds in that game. And <clears throat> I, I can never say his name, Gustavo Santolalo, the composer for <laughs> The Last of Us. Um, Just just watching him go to work, him put all the, all the songs together and everything, I was like, man, that'll be really cool to do and something that'll be really fun, something I'll be really passionate about. But I've always had in the back of my head this limited belief of, well, I'm not very proficient with sight reading and with uh, sheet music. I'm a self-taught musician. I play primarily by ear. By the time I finally got into classes and lessons, I'd already been playing for like seven years. So I was able to add knowledge about music theory. But at the end of the day, I was still relying primarily on my ear and never had enough drive to just dedicate the time needed to learn how to sight read, uh, learn how to sight read, just like reading any book or anything like that. So I was always like, well, how am I going to be a composer? If if I don't really work with sheet music and sight read and writing out all these different parts, you know, especially if it's going to be for an or, uh, orchestra. So I was listening to the Steve Austin show, his podcast, you know, it's one of my favorites. And Jim Johnston is the composer for just about every song that you hear in wrestling on WWE, WWF back in the day from Stone Cold to Shawn Michaels to Degeneration X to John Cena, Fandango. Uh, anybody you could think of, Undertaker, Kane, he's the, he's done all of that music. And during the interview, he just kind of said in passing that he talks about how he comes up with the songs on the piano or the guitar. He has just a little theme in his head or he kind of messes around. And basically, he has a guy that he works with. Once he comes up with everything, then the guy that he works with handles all of the sheet music and transcribing and writing all the different parts out and distributing it to the different people in the orchestra or whoever they bring in. And also, so keep that in mind, the other thing that helped me, and I'm going to get to my point, is I was listening to the Smart Passive Income podcast, and that's P Pat Flynn. And he said the smartest thing that he did was when working on his app for working on his app, he decided to go on Elance and find programmers that were very skilled, and he decided to pay somebody instead of spending six to eight months of his time trying to learn how to code and time away from doing what he's really good at and away from things that he loves and places that he needs to be spending his time trying to learn the app and then putting out a mediocre app at best when he could pay somebody to do a much better job and to help him so much more in the long run. So what it got me to thinking is, man, I have everything I need. And if there is something that I'm not good at, there are other people that have those skills that don't have the skills that I do. So I just want to encourage everybody out there. If there is something, no matter how far fetched the dream may seem or silly it may seem, uh, or if you feel like you're not up to par, you know, you feel like you're not ready. Chances are, like, when are you ever ready? You know, and that's a rhetorical question because there's so many things in life where you just kind of got to get thrown in the fire and got to learn on the fly. I've been in that situation many times when I didn't think I was prepared for something, but that's how we grow and that's how we improve. So the thing I've taken away from that is 
I don't have to do everything myself. I'm I'm really big on learning how to do everything myself. You know, if there's something that needs to be fixed or I need something, I'm searching on, I'm looking on forums, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Google trying to learn all these skills. If I need some kind of graphic or a piece of music or a video, anything, I'm trying to do it myself. And I'm just starting to realize it is valuable. It's probably value. It's good to have skills. It's good to be a jack of all trades, but I I believe it's best to really focus in on what you're good at. And then if you need something, you know, find somebody who's really good at that thing. So, so you don't have to know how to do anything. And while I'm at it, speaking of dreams and, and goals, I also just want to encourage you guys to really be confident and believe in what you want to do because no matter what age you are, but especially when you're younger, you're going to have dreams and there are going to be people that don't quite understand your dreams. It may not make sense. It may sound like a waste of time to them. And you may get to the point where you don't want to tell people what you really want to do. You know, you're going to get advice from teachers, from family from friends people that you respect and advice that you really you really cherish and you really value but it may not be exactly what you want to do you know and there's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to decide am I going to live everybody else's life or am I going to live my own am I going to live the rest of my life just carrying out tasks and doing things that other people want me to do and just not be happy (laughs) maybe happy because you like helping people or at some point are you going to pursue your passions follow your dreams it's really something to think about um we all have to do things in life that are smart and logical at times and once you get older you know you're going to have to pay bills and do things of that nature but eventually you got to find your niche you got to go after it in some way you know why not So that's my spiel on that whole topic. And I just put it under the umbrella of video game composing because that's one thing that I really think would be cool. And I've gotten a little, got my feet wet a little bit with it, you know, with some of the contests I entered with the Tetris Blitz contest and winning that and hearing my song in the game. Really cool feeling. Uh, You know, that's, this is just a really, really cool feeling. And, I'm very thankful and grateful for learning about that contest, being able to enter and win. And and I just, just a lot that I want to do. And I, I, I think another video I want to bring up is Just Blaze. He has this video on YouTube. He's a phenomenal producer. He produced a lot of songs, uh, especially in the 2000s. He was one of Jay-Z's main producers. Used a lot of soul samples. He was always one of my favorites. He had a video. He he produced a soundtrack for NBA Street Volume Two, which is one of my favorite soundtracks, and also for TMNT. I forgot what it's called, Shadows or something. It came out like last year, and it was really tight <laughs> seeing that video and seeing him bring that style into gaming. So, a lot of video games have more orchestral kind of classical influence or maybe if it's a horror game you know horror themes uh, things of that nature but I'm like you know I would like to bring some of my kind of urban influence into some different games as well and it'd probably be a good idea for me to start linking up with indie people and indie developers and seeing who needs music so now I'm just brainstorming out loud with you guys Um, so I would love to hear if you guys have any kind of thoughts or have any questions about anything um, before I get on out of here. I'm just trying to think if there's any news in gaming uh, that I wanted to cover. I haven't really heard anything. Uh, things I heard from this week, uh, the Metal Gear Solid creator wants to, he wants to open world Metal Gear Solid 1, but he doesn't know if they're going to do that because he's working on uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 as well as Silent Hills. I think that would be cool if he did. And I know there's a lot of games people in my age range would love to see redone because you can't really go back and play some of these games and enjoy them because the graphics and the gameplay is just inferior. For example, Final Fantasy VII, Resident Evil 2, 
games like this. So re remakes, not just remasters, but actual remakes are really good for good games, you know. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, Naughty Dog trying to put Uncharted 4 and 60 frames per second, but said it's really hard to do. So I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Either way, I'm excited about it. Um, that's a no-brainer for me to get. So I've been trying to avoid any news about Uncharted 4 because I want the whole experience to be a surprise. You guys know how much I love Uncharted and The Last of Us. And what else? It was one more thing I heard. Minecon 2015 is going to be in London, I believe. That's coming up. And it's one more thing I read I read earlier. Oh, Dying Light has uh, Easter eggs from Mario and The Last of Us. I didn't watch the video yet, but I was intrigued to see what kind of references they had. So that's all I have. Uh, yeah, on this this week, be on the lookout for some new videos. Uh, hopefully, I have a new piano tutorial on Wednesday, and I have a new instrumental that will be up on Friday. And we will try to keep this thing rolling. So until next time, you guys, be safe, be blessed, follow your dreams, and I'm out of here. Peace out.